Hello, people. How's everybody doing there up there? Set us a second here. Last episode was a really wild ride because a lot of shit happened all at once. But we're in the investigation phase now, so we got to figure out what happened. Uh, we've investigated pretty much everywhere near the crime scene. So now it's a bunch of places that uh, aren't exactly the crime scene right away. So we're going to go ahead and uh, slide over there. All right. So the first things first. I'm gonna do it with the map because I can do it. Mu I can go. The I can go where I need to go much faster with the map. I want to go check out Nagito's room first. Mm. I'm annoyed. What happened? I'm annoyed. What are you annoyed about? I'm gonna investigate Nagito's cottage, but I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Wait. Can I? Can she not do it because. She, like, he does, there's some rule of. It's locked? Apparently. Can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed. We can't. We gotta go investigate somewhere else. All right, so I guess we got to come back here later while Chaki goes and talks to Monokuma. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, there's not anything on the second and third islands. Let's go to the fourth island. Let's go to the castle. We are we're already blocked from the one place I wanted to go right away. So let's just go somewhere else. It's definitely one of the I assumed it would be one of those spears, but it's worth it to check. Spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. It's definitely, it's definitely the spear that was used. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle. And there's a weight at the end of it. Yeah. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Huh. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gunnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a name like that. Why did he kill use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. He could have just killed him with a knife. It would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this with a spear like this with this much unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. It definitely looks like it would be a bitch to use. Still, they chose the spear for a reason. I wonder why. Now. I thought I was like, did I see something up here to click on? All right. Where you go? What do you got? Oh. I see. All right. Well, we already know where it came from. Uh, we should use the map to do this one. Wait, is there still shit in here to investigate? Or did I... It's a password to enter the ancient ruin, but the most important part is erased. Nagato was the only one who found out the password written here, but apparently he went, in, he, and he went inside, but now he's dead. And we're never gonna get the password. Right, and I've already gotten this. Well, we 
we use the map to do it. Again, map movement is significantly easier. Was there something going on at Seeking Industries, or am I remembering wrong? I think I must have been remembering wrong. I don't know why I thought I'd already investigated the plushie factory, but let's do that. Let's go in and look through the plushie factory. Is that a, I like? I'm assuming it's going to be. We have to investigate everything else, and then we can go to his room. At least that's what my bet is. My. Never seen so many monokumas in my life. He isn't really exactly someone you would normally run into. While I was staring at all these monokumas, a thought occurred to me. The bomb that was set at, that went off at the lobby might have been set up here. Do you have a minute? If you had a bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make for a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism. Alright! Let's rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Wait, 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 wait! There's a bomb inside of these. Wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Easy as pie. Either way, it's it is all gravy. I don't even really think I agree with that, but sure. What the hell does that even mean? Enough already. Stop! There's no bomb! Hey, um... You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you fear is the soft weight of cotton. I see, I see. You are right. However... Then where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Oh, no. I wonder. Hmm. Let me give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. What? Tell you the truth, all the bombs there are fakes! Please wait! I, I, I already know that. Should have said so earlier. No. Oh, well, if I thought I would keep quiet about it, that I thought if I kept quiet about it, it would foreshadow that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just telling you now for the first time. Woo! I feel relieved. If the bomb wasn't from the military base of the factory, then he had to have brought it from the Arctic. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside of one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it. That is. Did, did I? Say something I shouldn't have. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Monokuma probably would have thought about it already. All right, let's explore. Uh, we saw the message on his laptop. At the time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means that the video was recorded in advance. Besides the video, there might be a date on this laptop that could be used as a clue. That thought I might have tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe the release will be inside. Oh, Chiaki. Maybe you can use your... Well, she's not a hacker, but maybe you can use your, your, your amazing gamer skills and, like, find a way in. It's an enormous machine, but it stopped for now. At least there's something, there's something related to the incident here. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed in this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. He must have brought it from there. Alright. Um... We'll go out here just because it's much easier to get over there. Oh my god, I just thought about something. I know why the fuck my room has been so hot recently. My roommates and I were outside yesterday and we didn't reclose the AC unit. Shit. So the way our apartment's designed is that there's a vent out in the main area 
And then all of that venting leads to the back rooms. Well, we were sitting outside last night, and I know that one of them opened it. So I got to go close that after the set. Damn it, this place is... It's dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they got to think better at any of these things. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Um, I would think the ultimate mechanic could be a gun mechanic. I'm trying to think through the truck bed. There was something on this truck bed the first time it came through here. Did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, he said as much in his message video. <laughs> he knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to make to weed out the traitor. But is that really it? Is that really all it is? Did Nagato only do that, that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Uh, a huge supply of guns and other firearms are in the back Whoa! of the truck bed. Found it! What did you find? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I found stuff like... A survival knife! Isn't that... That is the same kind of knife. Isn't the same kind of knife that was stabbed through Nagato's right hand? Which means the killer obtained that knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once? That's everybody though. <laughs> Not me. This is the first time I've been here. That's kind of suspicious. I feel kind of tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito was trying to make us suffer, even after he died. Oh, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Oh, okay, so I guess we're just going to go back over to the cottage now? Alright, let's go straight to the cottage. Beep, beep, boop, boop. That is not who I thought the cottage was. Bonakuma. What's this? Oh, you want to go inside Nagito's room too? Hajime, what are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chucky's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's college because she really her cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Um, I didn't do that. Boy, the crowd. Then do it! It's sweet because it's made out of black beans. Hey, we don't have time to be messing around here. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Bye-bye! See? I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't the first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go inside. Oh boy, what in the world could this man's cottage even look like? So Nagito was living here? What's he thinking inside? What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanted to see absolute hope? Becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue that might be hidden. Maybe maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Uh, 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 uh. Got you. No. I would laugh if there's like just two of them hiding in this room. Hmm. A fancy looking treasure box is covered in sparkling pink lights that is totally standing out. 
Oh. Perhaps. A treasure box. Shaki, do you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. Huh. This, is, this looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. If this is here, then that means the thief Monomi was talking about is Nagito. But why would he steal this? We might need to look inside to figure oh, out what it is. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. Uh, yeah, it might be, but this could be something we need to know. If it was, if this wasn't, if this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monomi in the first place. I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. There's a notebook inside. This is it? This is all that's in there? Why is a notebook inside a treasure box like this? Like it's something super important. I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contains sloppy drawings that they were drawn by children and entries that look like chicken scratch. Day one, I was able to talk to everybody for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Byaki is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. It's a diary? Um, Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries are totally her style. Okay, flip through the pages, day 3405. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. I remember when I was about to give up. My hand suddenly stopped on the on an entry entitled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hunger, hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. I if he can't panic it because no one believes him. Wait. Hey, hey. Stop it! Don't look in my notebook. Oh God. Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you. I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but there was a jewel to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If you come any later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. But we saw the inside of the notebook. You're a little too late. Huh? But this notebook is um, here. And Nagito was the thief? No! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my lovely students. Hey, hey. It's pretty much your diary, right? Mm -hmm. The diary? Um, it seems that way. That's right. This is my most important diary where all of my maiden secrets are written. Hey! You're a liar. Ooh. Why do you always show up out of nowhere? Oh no, me! It's not good to lie, you know. Wait, what is she lying about? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah! After all, Monomi can't even write. Huh? <laughs> you saying I can, geez, I can write letters easily? I can finally write the letter B. That's wrong. No, you can't. Because your fingers have no hand. Uh, you you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> See, bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way too. Well, what? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a little weakling like you? Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You're, you're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, hey, hey I, I don't know why you're getting serious all of a sudden, but what is what Monokawa said? Is what he said true? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that right? If so, who wrote um, in it? Well, you know, it's... Uh, how should I put it? Bye bye. Of course she's gonna run away right there. Damn it, she totally ran away again. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. I still wanted to ask about the notebook. Actually, it might be better if I just didn't ask her. Hmm. Investigation time. Our investigation time is winding down. So... The bookshelf might take some time to investigate, so we should try examining it. Is a refrigerator? Huh? 
Potter doesn't even have one of those. I wonder where he got it from. He probably supplied it himself. Why would he go through the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As he talked, I opened the, the refrigerator out of curiosity. There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Uh, like, for someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But that bottle's clearly not a drink, right? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Uh, Hajime, are you still recalling from... I don't know, trying to open the door? The brown bottle out of the fridge started reading the label. Made exclusively for poisoning someone to death. Hey, wait. Yep. Looks like it's a poison. There's a warning label on the back. Just be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. I grabbed the bottle with my hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes immediate effect. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, the liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air and breaks down in minutes. It is susceptible to hydrolysis. It was possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep the liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Huh. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. Where would Nagito have even gotten something like this? The question could apply to the bomb he... Oh god! I didn't even... <laughs> I forgot in the octagon there was a... There was a... There were refrigerators. should be no reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. Or there was a place. Yeah, the octagon. He must have brought it with him from there too, Perhaps. right? He was probably hiding it, hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He had a bomb and poison during the class trial? Hmm. How dangerous. What would he have done if he'd actually tripped and broken the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. What about this poison? See? There's what, like half left? Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? And if so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere we haven't sprung yet? Oh boy. Perhaps. Another trap. Ugh. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. Why did you kill everyone on this island? Everyone? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? There's a lot of books arranged here. Did Nagito bring these from the library? According to the book, in addition to books, there's a bunch of random crap stuff onto the shelves. Basic layout is just like my cottage. There's nothing in this window that really catches my eye. Why did you let me click on it? The bed that comes with the cottages. It's just like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under the bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. We should just check, just to be sure. With no expectations and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... Wait, there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket, and there's something inside. 
Oh. Oh, I guess they might have come with the poison as well. This looks like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves? Is there anything else under the bed? A small piece of paper on the floor? Made of blue aluminum? It's similar to those seals that go over jars of unprotected mayo. I get what you're saying, but does this mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? It might be real, like, real early to decide that one. Is there anything else in the treasure box? Hmm. So... Well? Hmm, they say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this, though. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to figure out all these piles. It doesn't mean we should, should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you, Hajime. Wait, me? What if a boy goes through another boy's things? You know, there might be private stuff in here. Hmm. See? So I'm gonna leave the shelf to you. I, I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. Side and walk towards the shelf. Once, one by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, they were still just a bunch of random books and items. There's almost no way that. Oh! Hi! Something's bothering me a little bit, so we're gonna. I, I, might, I might eat a cracker or two just to kind of tell it to shut up. I guess I said this only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at it, it'll be obvious. He said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That could also be a lie. I opened the file that contained that to confirm. Instantly, I realized something was strange. This really had my, only my information, then why is this pile so thick? Thick. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagato had lied to me. Aside from any information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. Everyone who died had pages of information about them. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe you made up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too? I turned to the page containing my information and been reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as date of birth, height, weight. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There's no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one here who's, a who's from the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. I know I shouldn't be doing that on the on the VOD, but whatever, screw it. Did something happen. Well, I just found a strange file. Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? I said, recall your student profile should be in there. It's not just mine. It's everyone's. Nagito was lying. Huh? 
When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? It is basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? She leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My profile is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. No. Details, details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Oh. Hold on. Huh? What happened? I, I just noticed it now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? Huh? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. Well, then who was the Byakuya that we knew? <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at the Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life... Too bad. It's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. What reason? You're getting all riled up. You guys have been getting all worked up about that Byakuya for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Byakuya doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me. You know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Hmm? I just turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. So then I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Oh. Oh. Every section was filled with question marks. It could be bare. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's Byakuya's true identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent prodigy Byakuya Togami. Uh, a fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that information's correct regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, even his age and his gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent, <laughs> though I'm not jealous of that at all. The person wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Perhaps. That's why, is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool! His physique doesn't aff affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Hmm. And he was lying to us the whole time? But still. But he couldn't help it. Wait, wait, why couldn't he? What? Oh. Because it was his talent. Having a talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway... Mm. I'm not happy you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up. This revelation of Bia about Byaki is exactly the truth. Th then... What are you trying to say to me all that time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partially to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. 
Based on the context, if I had to guess. No, no. Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud? <laughs> if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Sing. But since you guys went to Hope's Academy, you, are, you should have already known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew. The future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Mono Monomi or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at the 16 profile photos, profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys could figure that out. It's just as I thought, you're the one who did it. Hey, um The fact that there's 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Mm. I mean the traitor's a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope Speak Academy. You You made a fake profile from the traitor and included it in here? Correct! Huh. Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito as well. Hmm. Probably. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure about this? Do you think that was wise? Time's up, you know. Wait. Bye. Excuse me for a moment. Oh my god. Oh, we're going to this trial with such little evidence. Also, leaning my head back like that was a really terrible decision. Holy crap. <sighs> like, I lean my head back and then lean it forward and it, like, knocks some stuff out of my sinuses. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? True. That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. Last? <laughs> what? I'll see you soon. He, he said that right? He said last class trial. Yep. I heard it too. He really did say it was the last one. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer, right? Two more days? And he said something about the skilling, the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But, still... but I can't imagine it's the real end. I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. Is his real plan? Is Monokuma planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all of this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors once and for all. But still, it's not good to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still... You don't have to worry too much. Wait, right? why? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We are not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. If we do that, things will turn out fine. Oh boy. Oh, 
this is gonna get weird. Oh my god, this is gonna be really a weird segment. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it, you're making me depressed. Stupid fool. Also, I just realized that I need to have my VOD window open so I can see that my VODs are recording. I've been going back and checking my VODs pretty much after in between each set just to make sure that like things are recording properly. As far as I can tell they are. Um. So it's going to happen again. A cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through this, we can go back, right? That's right. Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? So this is the last class trial. We've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I could believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know. You know, right? That's why. Uh, I'll definitely survive. If you really can go home after we deal with this class trial, That's right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. The you. fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island? Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> Stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up. Damn right, stupid rabbit just sh should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Oh, I'm person not normally Monomi. I finally realized after losing my powers, I realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it in order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What the hell is her deal? Um. I, I don't really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. I mean, she might have gone to the library or something. Who knows? Wait. But her eyes seem so determined. You. So what can you tell by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Maru. Be annoying if you started talking during the trial. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. But still. Somehow I understand what Monomi is saying think anyway let's get going to the last yep. class trial you're right we need to fight as much as we can no matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end <sighs> this is the end I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind I entered Monokuma Rock. Yep. Yeah. This elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope well? so. Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial. Damn it. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I can't believe one of us was able to do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during trials. It's true. He did, like... Again, they weren't joking when they're like, oh yeah, Nagito sort of bailed our asses out a couple of different times. He did. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We... We must fight. And then the door opens slowly. This bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Hmm. Well now. 
Now that the, now that the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Just fucking start this already. Hey! This is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. Sure is. <laughs> you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. All right! Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. Now then. Let's get this class trial started. Killing! This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last one. The curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaida, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, he, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But his true nature held such a demented thought process that nothing was like, it was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times where he saved us. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Oh, I should have done a... I should have saved in a new file. Um, you know what? I actually want to cut it off right there. I actually want to cut the, the VOD off right there. We'll stop. We'll start the next VOD at the beginning of the trial so we can take care of that. I want to thank you guys for stopping by, hanging out. You guys are all awesome. Whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, it's greatly appreciated. If you're on YouTube and you want to come check me out recording live, you can find my Twitch channel link in the description below this video. If you're on YouTube or if you're on Twitch, Wait, did I say that right the first time? Fuck, I don't know. If you're on Twitch and you're watching this VOD, you already know where my channel is. But if you go to my info section, you can find out where you can find where my um, the uh, the link to my YouTube channel where all my VOD archives are. Because I have everything I've ever played already up on my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, let's let's get weird in this next trial because some something, something strange is going to come out of this. I don't know what. Because we have like two or three people that are acting kind of suspicious, and I don't know how to think about that. I have no idea who could have done this, but I guess we'll see that in the next set. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Before I do, I need one kindness from everybody out there. Just one. I you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day, whatever happens to be wherever you are at. I'm going to see you guys in the next set, and we'll get this trial underway. Right? Bye.